651-646-8255 if you'd like to join the conversation. Uh, if you can't join the conversation but want to tweet at us, you certainly can. I'm at Jay Zolgad on Twitter. You can uh, tweet Danny Cunningham. He's at Real D Cunningham. And then uh, station account as well, which is uh, at Score North, our Twitter account. If you have not heard some breaking news at the start of today's show, Ian Rapport, NFL Network, reporting that Josh Doxson, yes, Josh Doxson, just obtained by the Vikings after being let go in final cuts, Danny, by uh, Washington. He has been uh, picked up or he has been put on IR, I should say, Yes. by the Vikings. He turned up with a hamstring injury yesterday on the injury report, limited in practice. But his season, it's not finished. He could come back, but it's going to be quite a few weeks. Yeah, that's that's a bummer for them. But I don't think it necessarily changes much. This is a, a wide receiver core that wasn't used a ton week one. Josh Jackson was healthy, didn't play because I guess he doesn't have a grasp on things yet, which is understandable. You've been around for a week. It's a lot to expect. But I don't know that this necessarily changes the equation for the Vikings. I think it changes it. You're exactly right. I think it changes it to zero. It's, it has no Im- impact. People, I always go back to with this regime, uh, what was it, 2016, that they picked up Michael Floyd. And people said, oh, Michael Floyd's going to come in and he's a local kid. He's going to play a role. And you went through the whole uh, kombucha thing in the spring and they stuck with him. Mm-hmm. And you thought to yourself, oh, man, he must really be important. And then he did basically nothing. Yep. So I think I think Doxon was picked up for to, to see how he looked. I think he was picked up in case Diggs or Thielen at some point in time got hurt and couldn't play. But I also think that if he if he never plays a game here, they're going to be like, yeah, too bad. So, in fact, let's play a little it's, game. It's such a low risk thing. I want to play a little game. I like games. in our remaining time here. I want to get your feeling. Are you concerned? We'll call it. Are you concerned or not? OK. Vikings injury report, the first one that came out on Wednesday uh, before the Packers game on Sunday. I'm only going to give you the guys who were actually impacted in practice because Hunter. So at least limited in practice. Yeah. Hunter uh, showed up with a hamstring. Griffin showed up with an elbow, but they were full participants. So you're not concerned. Okay. Pat Elfline knee did not practice. Are you concerned or no? Absolutely. I'm concerned. With the way that this offensive line looked week one in pass protection and the the limited attempts that they got, you need all the help you can get along that offensive line. Pat Elfline being banged up is not a good thing for this team, and it's certainly something that should be concerning going up against, I think, a better front seven this week than you went against last week. Are you concerned? I'm concerned about the position as a whole because Elfline didn't play well. Mm -hmm. I guess my question is this. Does it worry me that that I've never seen Dakota Dozier play a game at left guard, or do I actually think the kid might step in and be good? You know what? More concerned. I'm curious. Okay. If Elfline was playing great, absolutely concerned. Yeah. The only thing I don't like is Elfline has played center. Bradbury has played exactly one game at that position, Danny. So it con- it concerns me because there's an off chance that at least schematically – and as a professional, Elfline helped Bradbury there, but I'm curious. Mackenzie Alexander did not practice what, with what has been reported by, I think, the Star Tribune as a dislocated elbow. Concerned? Absolutely. I'm very concerned there. That's a tough injury. A dislocated elbow is a, that hurts. But J. Ron Curse, the safety, stepped but in last week and played he, very well. He played well, but at some I'm point. I'm talking team once. Because Xavier Rhodes is going to get hurt this week. It happens every week. <laughs> You're right. You're if you're down if you're down two guys in the secondary you're running out of bodies. You have to account the fact that Xavier Rhodes is going to be hurt each and every week because that's just the way things go here. It'll probably be when Devonte Adams makes a catch on him. Yeah, exactly. It'll He's be out of bounds the too. It's mm-hmm. always out of bounds. He always goes flying out of bounds and comes up and runs across the sideline limping. And then you're going to have to figure out for at least one, if not two, series is what you're going to be able to do. And being down another defensive back is okay. Concerning. That's a good one. Great point. Okay. Optimistic or not, Mike Hughes, cornerback with the uh, coming off the ACL, and he also tore something else we don't know yet in that knee. But Mike Hughes, cornerback, back at practice, limited that they, of course, are not declaring him out yet. Are you optimistic that Mike Hughes could step back in and contribute? Yeah, I am. I think that he can be a guy that can do something in the defensive backfield for them. Now, what is that going to be? I don't know. It's going to be a a wait and see type thing, but I, I have, there are reasons for optimism surrounding him. Yes. Are you optimistic?